Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Today I'm taking a look at the Carolina Panthers and going over whether or not I think they're a contender or a pretender. But before getting to that topic, quick question for those of you going, comment down below, who do you think will lead the Carolina Panthers in receiving yards in the upcoming season? You think it'll be Robbie Anderson, DJ Moore, rookie Charles Marshall Jr., could it be Christian McCaffrey? Whoever you got, comment down below and I'll give my answer at the end. Getting straight into it though, just to make it clear, for me in this video, I'm defining contender as Super Bowl contender. Not a team that can be in the hunt for the playoffs, not a team that can make the playoffs, not a team that can make the playoffs and get a playoff win, a team that can make the playoffs and win all of the playoffs. Go all the way, be in Super Bowl contention, be in the big game, bring home the Lombardi Trophy. That's what I'm talking about. Can they be a Super Bowl contender, pretender? Not to make it sound super negative as a bottom five pick, but obviously just not living up to a Super Bowl hype would be pretender. Getting straight into it though, looking at the Panthers, a lot of the season this upcoming year is obviously going to depend on Sam Darnold. Can he turn things around? Can he just show that he could be an above average quarterback? Can he be a top 20 quarterback, top 16? Can he be the guy that the Panthers just know we can invest our future in? We can continue to invest in Sam Darnold. We can continue to allow him to be the face of the franchise. Can Sam Darnold be our guy for the next decade and a half? That's all, I don't want to say that's all Sam Darnold needs to be, but the Panthers aren't expecting him to win a Super Bowl this year. They're just expecting him to show that he is worth keeping as their starting guy. So it could be worse, but he does finally deserve this chance. I hate how with the Jets, he never got a fair shot. He was never invested in, he was never given the protection, never given the weapons, never given the defensive line, never given the coach and staff. Now he's got it all. I'm rooting for Sam Darnold to turn things around, but pressure is on his shoulders to prove that he can. Looking at the Panthers outside of him, Christian McCaffrey is arguably the best running back in the NFL. He's either the best or the second best. That's an argument for another video, but clearly he's top tier. He's one of the best in the NFL, and that's what matters. Offensive line, it could use some work, that's for sure, but they did draft a couple guys third and sixth round, day two and three peaks, but they still have some foundation on the team. Taylor Melton's one of the best tackles in the league when it comes to right tackle, so they still got something and that's better than what Sam Donald had in the Jets, in my opinion. So it's at least something for Donald to work with. Looking at their receiving room, I'm a pretty big fan of it. Familiar Robbie Anderson, Sam Donald was a pretty good duo with him in his time on the Jets when they were both in New York. DJ Moore is an upcoming receiver. Terrace Marshall Jr. has got a lot of upside. Christian McCaffrey out of the backfield, we know how lethal he is. Dan Arnold, Ian Thomas, two decent tight ends. You know, they're not Travis Kelsey by any means, but they're still reliable guys that have some hands to them. So overall, this offense is for the most part well-rounded. There's some question marks to it, of course, but on paper, you it can give you a little bit of promise. Looking at the defense, this is where I do like the Panthers a lot. Brian Burns is an upcoming pass rusher. You got Derek Brown, you got Shaq Thompson, you got Jeremy Chin, you drafted J.C. Horn, you added A.J. Boye, you have Deontay Jackson. This is a, Dante Jackson, excuse me. This is a pretty good squad for the most part. You're gonna have to rely on these younger guys to make the next step forward. You know, can Terrace Marshall be the steal that the Panthers are expecting him to be. Can J.C. Horn live up to the hype of being the number one corner taken in this draft? Can Jeremy Chin take the next step of being a premier safety in the league? That's a lot of question marks for them to answer. While I think they can, I think the Panthers are going to crack a top 10 defense this year. It's going to be easier said than done given the division they're in with the Bucks, the Saints, the Falcons. Well, I don't think the Saints and Falcons are these Super Bowl threats like the Bucks. Michael Thomas, Alvin Kamara, Marshall Lattimore, Cameron Jordan, Demario Davis. Saints got a pretty good, they got a couple specks of talent on their roster. Falcons, I don't expect their defense to be a problem, but still Matt Ryan, Calvin Ridley, Kyle Pitts. That could still be an offense you don't want to just blow off, brush off, just ignore like it's nothing. Again, I think the Panthers can handle their own this in this division and even finish second in the division, but still the Saints and Falcons aren't two teams you don't want to worry about. Overall, though, looking at them as a whole, contender or pretender, Unfortunately for the Panthers, my vote this year would go to Pretender. Again, I'm not saying the Panthers suck. I'm not saying the Panthers stand no chance. I'm saying the Panthers are just not ready. I do think in time this Panthers team can go to the next level. I think they can next year possibly take the reins and even win the division. Tom Brady's going to be 45 next year. I think Sam Donald, if he could prove to his team that this next year he can make the playoffs. I think... This top 10 defense this year could become top seven or eight next year, and they could be in contention for a Super Bowl. This year, they could be in the hunt. They could make the playoffs. They could be a wildcard team, but I don't expect them 
they could pull off an upset in the wild in the playoffs. So I don't expect them to make it to the NFC Championship. I don't expect them to win the Super Bowl. I don't think many Panthers fans are. I'm not a Panthers fan. I'm not a Bills fan, unfortunately. I don't know why I'm wearing this shirt. I like to be as unbiased as I can be. And Panthers, while I like what you got in the making, in the future, and I do think you'll see a bright side this year. I think you could see above 500. I think you could be in the hunt. I think you could be in a wild card spot. You're not a Super Bowl squad just yet. I think maybe one more offseason, depending how good or not good Sam is, depending if Matt Rule could take the net step forward, depending if the Panthers lose Joe Brady to a head coach position, I think a lot is on the line in this next offseason and in this upcoming season to determine their future. This year, I like them to improve a lot compared to last year, but I don't like them to be a Super Bowl threat. They're just not ready. So many young guys, Jeremy Chin, J.C. Horn, Sam Darnold, McCaffrey, DJ Moore, Terrace Marshall Jr. I know a couple of these guys have been in the league three, four years, but they're still young guys under rookie contracts, and you can't just expect a Super Bowl out of them just yet. I like them in time, but this year, I'm going to hold them back from being an actual contender for now. They're going to be a pretender. Again, not trying to make it this negative, condescending title, but we just know they're not in, in Super Bowl contention, at least in my opinion. But I do want to hear from you guys. Comment down below, do you agree or disagree with my opinion? Maybe my mind could change if I see the right comments, see the right explanations, see the right debates persuading to me, persuading me to see them as a contender. Or maybe just week one, I could see them as a contender. But as of right now, I like them to improve and be a good team. But they're not a Super Bowl ready squad, in my opinion. But I do want to hear from you guys, like I said. As far as the question today goes, who do I think will lead in receiving yards for them? Personally, I do think DJ Moore is a smidge better than Robbie Anderson. But... Sam Darnold and Robbie Anderson just having that familiarity, that connection of what they had in New York, of what I like, what I like to see there. I think that duel is going to pick up where it's left off, and I think just having that familiarity, Sam Darnold's favorite target is going to be Robbie Anderson, and that's my opinion. I think he will lead the Panthers receiving yards, but all these guys, I wouldn't be surprised if any one of them led in receiving yards. But who do you guys think? Comment down below. As always, and of course, I truly appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Two and a one.